Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look at the Asus Master Thunderbolt 5 Dock DC510. I have bought it for about a week and in this video I want to show you my experience with this dock so you can see if this is the right one for you and if you should buy it or choose another one. So this is my thoughts on uh, this dock. So I have it in here and this is what uh, it looks like. So we're going to see it in more details right now, but this is the dock. And another thing that uh, this had in the package, I'll put also the package unboxing in here, is this Thunderbolt 5 uh, cable. So in seeing here that it's about one meter and it comes with this Thunderbolt 5 cable which is pretty good because uh, they are quite expensive and another thing it's the power adapter for this so this is quite small and uh, it has 180 watts so it's not big at all for the power that it has and right now let's check in detail what this dock has in terms of port so in here you have the back of this so you see in here that you have the power adapter and near this you have the type c connector so you have two on the back then you have the lan which is the 2.51 and uh, on the right you have the three usb 3 ports that have uh, two of them has 10 gigabytes and one five so this is what you have on the back and right now if we're going to move this we're going to check the front oh and from the front in here you see that you have a uh, sound jack you have a uh, sd card the big one the small one and in here you have another usb 3 10 gigabytes and you have the type c ports one is for the in one is for the out and in here you have the power button in the right side you have a Kensington lock let me see it's on the left side this is the Kensington lock and on the button of this you have a button to close the light or start it so basically this has also a white light and in here if we're going to check this this has also an um, an M2 enclosure and uh, if you are going to take this off you are going to see that it has an enclosure in here and I already paired it with uh, an uh, with an Western Digital uh, SSD 280 and uh, 2 terabytes of traffic and it is how it looks it can be mounted very easily and in here also you see that it has like a cooling system so uh, yeah to not get hot this one so you can put this quite easy in there like this without a problem and then you are just uh, ready to go and yeah this is how uh, this one is looking and uh, in here we have their also the website also for their dock uh, this dock uh, wasn't easy to be bought here in Romania. I ordered it from uh, Greece and it came in about one week. But the good thing about this is the fact that you can use this with three monitors. So in here you see the details. So you have the options to use uh, with one monitor up to 8K 60 Hertz. And in here you have the options to use it with two monitors, 8K 60 Hertz or three 4K for 145 Hertz. So right now I am using this dock with two monitors. I have two 4K monitor, one it's OLED and it has 165 Hertz. And uh, with my Mac M1, I can uh, have both uh, monitors in 4K resolution in there. And uh, it is capped at 144 Hertz. So for the second monitor, it doesn't reach 165 in my Mac 1 Pro but I have this paired also with the Mac Mini M4 Pro and there you take advantage of the full connectivity because you are having Thunderbolt 5 in there on the Mac Mini and the Mac Mini Pro and with this you have also the high refresh rate for your monitor so right now I have paired this with two monitors and uh, it's uh, working uh, nice you don't i don't see any problems i am just uh, plugging the monitor in this thing and i am switching between the mac mini and m1 pro when i need this so yeah this is their website presentation and here you see again 
you have all of these details with ports that I have presented to you. Let's see what else they have in here. Okay, so this is faster data connection. Of course, Thunderbolt 5, uh, it's pretty fast. That's why these are not that uh, cheap. And in here, you see, I've connected them on the back, the monitors. Like the, they are doing, I didn't try with this file sharing in here to see how it's working. But yeah, next uh, we're going to check what the SSD speeds are. So in here I've created also an article where I did some benchmark on uh, on the SSD speeds because I am interested to see how this is going because I am doing a lot of videos for instance and I want to take advantage of this space of the two terabytes that I have with the Western Digital and this is the Western Digital that I have set in there. It's about $140, things like that. And in here, if we're going to check the Black Magic Dix speed test, you are going to see for this that it has a write of about uh, 400, 300 megabytes per second for write and about uh, 5,800 5, megabytes read. So this is pretty good. It's actually faster than what I'm seeing in the Mac Mini Pro which is pretty pretty fast and in here for instance I've tested also with FIO to see the benchmark if we are going to check different block sizes for this so in here for instance you see that with a 4k block size you have like uh, 47 megabytes read and the writes and uh, in case the block size increases you take advantage of the full uh, power of this and this is the test done for my Mac Mini so if you think that the 4K block size is slow you see that even for the internal SSD when you have block sizes that are small the read and write is not that fast but in here you see that if the block size is increasing you see that you have a lot of uh, good performance so the SSD speeds for this it's pretty good and it does a pretty good job from my point of view I am able to transfer files easily between this and uh, the the dock and uh, I'm also using it to have some steam games in there and it's working great for for this again this is powered by the western digital SN 850X MVNE with 22A0 so this is the form factor for this so it has pretty good uh, speeds so right now let's talk about also the bad things of this dock so what I've seen with this dock is the fact that when uh, when you are plugging in two monitors and uh, using it it has a it has a fan that it's uh, running so basically this has has active cooling so it has a fan in here and in here you will see that it's uh, it will just pull out the hot air and the problem with this is that it's very loud from my point of view so um, when this thing is kicking in it has like uh, doing a lot of noise and uh, I'm used with Mac and the fact that they are not doing uh, any noise at all and uh, when this thing is starting it's just like uh, very not noticeable so this is a very annoying thing for me and yeah I mean I've seen some reviews online and most of the reviews that are there are complaining about this and yeah this is some of something that you need to take into the consideration when you are thinking to buy this maybe it's not the best option for you if uh, you are looking for something that is not is not that uh, loud and uh, the thing is that when I've paired this with the M1 uh, MacBook Pro even if I'm using one monitor with this thing, it still has the fun started. When I'm pairing this with the M4 Pro Mac Mini, the fun is not kicking that often and uh, it's able to, to do the work without that much uh, fun uh, starting. But yeah, I mean, uh, the fun still starts, so you will still 
hear it and it maybe it will not be that good for you. And yeah, I mean, from my point of view, this is the only downside of uh, this thing. And uh, yeah, if you are bothered and want something that is not that loud, then this is not the dock for you. Other than that, it has a nice uh, look and it's uh, quite uh, quite pleasant to see on my uh, on my desk. And yeah, I like the fact that this one has also front uh, front port. So if you compare this with something from Razer, the Chroma that they released you will see that for instance for that one that has also active cooling i don't have it i don't know if it's louder than this one you see that it has only ports on the back and yeah i mean uh, this is the downside the other things that it does pretty well is the fact that uh, it's working great i didn't see any hiccups with it for one week uh, the ssd it's comporting very well it didn't froze it's it's very good. If they would have done the fun not that noisy, it would have been a better uh, option to choose. So yeah, I mean this is uh, this is the Asus Thunder for Five Master, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's okay for me because I am uh, I am not that. Uh, bothered with the fan because I'm usually listening also to music when I'm working in here and uh, yeah it's um, it does the other jobs pretty well and yeah if you are thinking to check an alternative maybe you can take a look at the chroma key again I don't have this in here but you can check also my article to see all the details in, in case you need more details about this and uh, thanks for watching and uh, let a comment in the description if you have this uh, Asus Thunderbird 5 uh, dock and uh, if you think it's good and uh, I hope this video helped you make a decision in uh, if you should buy this uh, dock or not and uh, yeah thanks for watching.